On today's episode, we are discussing one of the most crucial parts of the home buying process, which is the mortgage process, and talking about down payments. My name is Samuel Shahan. I am a local real estate broker with the Chicago Home Partner Team at App Properties. Let's dive on in to this episode. So the mortgage process is actually probably one of the most important parts about the transaction of buying real estate. So we always want to connect you with one of our top lenders. Again, down in the, in the description, you will find links and the contact information for some of our top lenders. We would love for you to reach out to them and partner up with them because they partner up with us as well. Down payments. So this is actually one of the most common questions we get from our first time home buyers is, how much down payment do we actually need? Um, there are a ton of myths out there. The myth is that you need 20% down. Now, that is a great myth because in the past, it probably was true. Decades ago, that was like what was required. Nowadays, there are different loan programs that are gonna be out there. And that's gonna be something that you're gonna partner up with your loan officer to make sure that you're choosing the best mortgage product that's gonna be appropriate for you. Now, when it comes to down payments, 20% is the golden child. Not gonna say it's not. Uh, the reason why we say that is because if you have less than 20% down, you're gonna pay what's called PMI, which is private mortgage insurance. This is an additional fee because if you're putting less than 20% down, it's a risk for the bank. So it's an insurance policy that says, hey, I'm going to make my payments on time. Now, PMI falls off naturally after 20% equity that you've built up in the property. So if you are putting 15% down and you have a 5% equity that you have to build up to get that PMI, it will naturally fall off. That's one of our normal questions that we get from our buyers. But that being said, 20% is not necessary. So the most, the lowest that most of our clients typically do is between five and 10%. So that is pretty standard for most first time home buyers. You know, in a world where everyone has a lot of debt from student loans, from credit cards, payment, car payments, rents are really high. Uh, it's sometimes hard to save up for those down payments. So this is actually a great opportunity for you to get into a property. And honestly, what I always typically say with a lot of our clients is make extra payments on an annual basis. Uh, that will build up that equity and make that PMI fall off so much faster than you are going to be by actually renting a property for another year or two to just save up that down payment. Now, the low end, there are different programs. So depending if you're a VA, you can get a 0% down loan. There are a couple doctor program loans that are out there that do 0% down. Now, Fannie and Freddie have come out with a conventional loan that is 3% down. And there in the past have been a 1% down payment as well. So again, this is going to be something that you are going to want to talk with your loan officer and we will kind of come up with the best strategy. Again, the more money you put down, the less your monthly payment is going to be. So we kind of want to do an ebb and flow with that. The last thing I want to bring up about down payments is gift money. So gift money is what we call uh, money from a family member. So. A lot of our clients, especially our young millennials and our Gen Zs, actually are buying properties a little bit younger than what a standard person, which on average is about 30 years old buying their first property, are getting their properties younger because their families are giving them a little bit of money up front for that down payment. This is a great opportunity for a lot of clients. Um, and again, I wish I had parents who would be able to give me money, but unfortunately I'm not in that situation. But it does help get into it. The reason why we bring this up at first is this is something that's gonna wanna be brought up to your lender in that initial pre-approval process. Uh, there's gonna be extra paperwork and we just wanna make sure that everything is dotted and all of our T's are crossed so that you are protected as much as possible. So this is an educational series. So if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, 
we would love for you to just click the thumbs up um, and then also subscribe to wherever the YouTube subscribe channel dot is um, because we do have a lot more content coming uh, including a lot more with educational series um, neighborhood highlights because Chicago is our best and favorite city and then uh, we also have again all of our properties that we have for sale um, so look forward to diving more into this process in the next episode